everybody. <sighs> Story time. It's been a rough, um, it's been a rough night and a rough morning, but a very happy afternoon. Uh, so last night, um, got back to, I mean, checked into the hotel. And then there were very, very loud neighbors who were having a high intense dance party, it seems, with intense dance music, very loud. And um, I called the reception, complaining about noise because this was at like 4 a.m. in the morning and your girl needed some sleep. And so reception tried to call their room, no one answered. They sent up the duty manager and security who knocked on their door for ages, nobody answered. There were inappropriate noises coming from that room. And um, yeah, I ended up having to move to another room late at night. And I think I went to sleep after 5 a.m. Um, and then the new room I moved to also had major sound. So it was like uh, waterways and like glass banging sounds every few minutes. So then I had to put on ear pods and I've never ever slept with ear pods on before. And I think my, my ears are like too small for the big ear pods because it was really hurting. So then I woke up after my ears started hurting. So I think I got maximum like two hours of sleep. Yeah, so that happened. And then in the morning for breakfast, I went down in my PJs um, because I had seen a girl the night before be in the elevator in her PJ. So I was like, you know, I should be allowed, I guess, if there's other people doing it. And then I went to breakfast and then they didn't have my name under the breakfast because I had changed rooms the previous night. So then the lady took ages trying to find my room number and then when that was confirmed she said you can't wear pajamas inside here. That was all she said and I was like that's fine I'll go change. By then I had like 10 minutes left till breakfast ended. I go upstairs, I change into track pants and a crop top like longer than this okay. And then I go downstairs and the lady looks at me like you know perplex I suppose and then gets her manager and then her manager said sorry no sportswear allowed and I was like no sportswear but it's breakfast anyways there was a sign that told you what you were allowed to wear I just didn't see it so then I rush <coughs> so then I rush upstairs get changed and I come down with two minutes left till breakfast ended but the manager um let me in anyway so thank you for that so that there was all that debacle and then for the actual performance so i thought i was doing a solo showcase which is a 90 second of my own choreography but it turns out that they wanted me to do 3d and the solo part was just me freestyling to 3d and then um dancing with their team team members and then doing like a finale dance with everyone at the end of the show so that somehow missed the communication lines um and yeah, so I fully was like stressing about my laptop, handing a music when I don't need a hand in any music. And also I had to go over 3D in my head and I've just finished prepping what I'm doing um, during my solo in 3D. It's gonna be fun, um, less stressful because low key the solo that I had made up is pretty tiring. So I'm like, low key not mad about this change at all. Um, and I love 3D, so it'll be fun. And I got to meet the rest of the G-Force team. Everyone's super lovely. Jaja, Jaja, whom I met in Vietnam at Summer Jam and met uh, the other G-Force members. Um, yeah, so it was really fun. Okay, they're so excited to show their dance to you. Oh, let's go! Woo! 
actually got to watch the little kitties perform and it was super cute. They're so cute and so precious. Well, this whole time I've been talking, my fork's just getting stacked. Might need to unstack this a little bit. Oh my gosh, also, check this out. Can you even see how bloody it is? So yeah, my nail uh, came off. Wish I kept it so I could show you. Um, it's bleeding because the skin went along with it. Oh, my skin. Um, yeah, this these nails they look pretty, but they only lasted a week, so I don't think I'm gonna go back to that place again. And number three is breaking. There's a little crack here. This one broke before I got here this one today and um this one definitely by the end of the night there's a crack I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to see ah I'm sorry I didn't mean to give you the specific finger that I did okay you can't see but there's a crack in the middle oh yeah and then I was sorting out what outfit I was wearing because I had prepared outfit for my solo and then for 3D, I was like, oh, it'd be so cool if I wore like these star pants that I got and the star crop top. But I hadn't tried it on. Tried it on, didn't fit me. It was a bit too uh, risky. Don't want to flash anyone dancing, do I? So then change of plans. I'm just going to wear what I was going to wear for my solo showcase. Eee, but I wanted to wear the star crop top. So the plan is make sure I know what I'm doing for this performance and then I'm going to start putting on a full face of makeup. I haven't worn foundation, I can't really tell, but I, I haven't worn foundation I think in months. That's a lie. I wore foundation on my birthday. So we're going to do that. Um, my original plan was I was going to finish editing um, the captions for the Malaysia travel vlog. I'm about like 20 minutes in, so I need to do the other 27 minutes because she rambled so much, just like how she is here. And then leave to the performance and enjoy time with G-Force. Signing off for now. We are all ready to go. Little shimmer in the corner. It's very shimmery.
11.36 p.m. and just finished the performance. Um, it was, yeah, a really, really fun time. I may or may not have pulled my back again. Um, it's not too severe though, but yeah. I've never seen like a studio showcase be so big. I think there were 600 students. It was super love filled, like all the dancers have so much love to give and I really, really felt that and appreciated it. But yeah, I can't believe there are so many incredible parents supporting their kids to dance. Yeah, it's really awesome that dance is so widely loved here in the Philippines. Jocelle is awesome. Um, thank you so much Jocelle for having me. She is definitely the definition of a boss lady and she has three kids um, who are also part of the studio um, and I believe she said she's 46 which she it blows my mind. Some other dancers who I think were 40 and 36 also blew my mind because they literally looked like my age. So yeah that was really cool um i was panicking i was low-key panicking about uh about 3d because i haven't done it since soul music awards in january january the second so i haven't done that dance since then and then there are so many variations of like do you do hips or do you do this groove and then what comes after that yeah but luckily i didn't make any mistakes thank goodness because i was like I mind blanked so many times just practicing it and I was like what if I mind blank on stage but luckily I didn't so thank you very much universe for that and there were also press I uh, talked to the press as well after the show um, really cool to see like there'd be so much publicity with like a dance studio um, so that was really cool to see and Drusel is an incredible speaker like she's so well spoken so what am i gonna do now I'm gonna have some beef noodle soup it's what i'm craving I haven't really eaten all day i had half of my chicken salad and i had breakfast and that was all i had today and i had actually a whole plate of fruit actually i've eaten but i usually eat much more so it feels it feels a little bit less so going to eat going to take everything off um massage with my ball my back maybe put on the uh, deep heat plaster just so I'm ready for the two classes tomorrow that's the plan I think yes okay I just got the medication I took two ibuprofens for anti-inflammatory purposes um, I can't actually put this on my back, I can't reach, so I'll get someone to put one of these uh, patches on me and the trusty tiger balm, which I'll get them to help me rub in as well. So hopefully this will save me, save, oh look at this finger, it will save me for the classes tonight, let's go! <laughs> Okay, yes. so legit Filipino food. Okay. One of my favorites is adobo. Oh. It's pork. Uh huh. And I think it's soy sauce. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Soy sauce and vinegar. That's cooking soy sauce and vinegar. Okay. This is. Yeah. Curry, curry. This is kare kare. Kare kare. Kare kare. You're not allergic to anything. 
No. Okay, perfect. So it's kare kare. It's like peanut. 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 Oh. peanut with, we call it bagoong. So it's like a shrimp paste. So it's good with shrimp paste and eggplant. Oh, eggplant's my favorite. Oh, oh eggplant. You're gonna enjoy. Oh, my favorite. The crispy Ooh. pata. So pata is like a part of the pork, like leg. Yeah. Pata. Pata, this side. Hi, knuckles? Knuckles. Ah, knuckles. Knuckles. So it's crispy. Go for it. Okay, yeah, go. go Yay! This is the appetizer. Appetizer. What's it for again? Sisig tapa. Sisig tapa. This is slapping. Mm -mm. Class was so fun. Uh, I freaking loved watching the dancers and how they take the Cory. I taught Duo Cut by XG and um, a new one, Feeling Myself Remix. My favorite part of teaching and choreographing is literally seeing it on the students and on other people and how they interpret it, make it their own and bring the choreography to life. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite. And also it always looks so cool with everyone doing it together in a big group. Like it's, it's the best. And I had uh, two lovely ladies assist me as well so that um, they could demonstrate the moves full out. And hopefully I will be okay for everything else that's coming up when I get home. And then afterwards we went out for dinner and I got to try some local Filipino dishes. My favorite was the peanut, was the eggplant and the peanut sauce. That was really delicious. Had a cheeky whiskey sour. Um, so, you know, loosen up these muscles back here, help that help that out and yeah back at the hotel now and gonna have my boba okay good night good night